Christmas. Way more sensitive. And You've only got three sides to the sail to set like any other. The only things that come into play is your backstay, which affects your mast bend and hence the shape of your main, and also the tension of your forestay. Okay. You can't have this too loose. If you have it too tight, it will also affect your mast bend. So I always start with a front sail and I make sure that there's reasonable tension here. You don't want this flapping in the wind. So I make sure that there's a bit of tension there, like so. And the minute you tension that, you have to tension the sail, otherwise it does this. So I make that only as tight as it needs to be, no tighter. Your downhaul on any sail, conventional jerk, like a conventional swing, whatever, must only be tight enough. And the same applies to the main. Don't make it too tight. The minute you make it too tight, you flatten the, the sail altogether. Now I've tightened, tightened the front of the jib. You'll see the back is tight. Now we have to open it again with your leech line at the back. You basically have to just have a look to see what adjustment on this rig adjusts which side of the sail. That's basically all it is. And then when you do your jib and you look up the jib, it must be open for two-thirds of the way, nice and open so that it can flow. This to me is a little bit closed, okay, so on this little rubber thingy there, you can open it there. That looks a lot better. The minute this is too closed, then you'll find the wind doesn't flow through there, doesn't flow over the back of the main, and you go exactly nowhere. So that's maybe a little bit too open, but in the light stuff, Mike, I think it's fine. Your pocket, it's such a small, narrow side, you don't need a lot of pocket, that's perfectly fine. And then we go to the main, I have a look at the bend in the mast. I'd like a little more bend in the mast, so I'm going to tighten this just a little teeny weeny bit. Just a teeny weeny bit, Maybe and whenever you strong, do the adjustment, just, 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 just do it fairly really carefully. Have you had Ian? No, no. Okay, that looks a lot better now. And when I tighten this, you'll see the back of the mine open. Big time. Because you're bending a mass and you're flattening your sail. Thank you. So we don't want that. So now I'm going to tighten the back of the sail. And you do that with. Yeah, he's just going to go over and study it. And, um, That's a bit too tight. <coughs> because the sail's quite wide at the top, it must float quite a bit. can be a little more open than the sail which isn't so wide at the top. Otherwise it won't drive. I create one by doing that, just so I can have a look at the shape of the sail. And then, this to me is a little bit flat, Michael. I would put a little more pocket in there, just like that. Tiny, tiny, tiny adjustment. And then the other thing is, if you've got your boat on the water and you want to, you're not happy with it, adjust one thing at a time. Because you you adjust four things and the boat suddenly goes like hell and you don't know which was the right setting that you did. So one thing at a time. But it shouldn't be out. I mean, at the end of today's sailing, you'll know more or less what the setting was like. So that's what you're going to start with next time. So you're just going to leave this thing as is. And the only adjustment you need to make is if next time there's a lot of wind. So you compensate for that. So you'd flatten it out a bit if there was a lot of breeze. Sorry? You'd flatten it a bit if there was a lot of breeze. Yes. Yes. Looks very good. Here we go. That looks very nice. That should go. Thanks, Jenny, Joe. Good Thanks, morning. Joe. Thanks, Joe. <laughs>